All right, have and have not fans, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. Now, I don't want to jinx it, but over the past two days, every time I went on YouTube, I would have a bunch of notifications from uh, different channels that I was on, uh, well, excuse me, subscribed to, saying that so-and-so is doing a live, so-and-so just uploaded content, so uh, maybe that means the bell notification icon is going off. Because I noticed that a lot of my older videos and whatnot are getting comments saying that, hey, I just got a notification about this video you posted like three months ago. So, guys, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon if you haven't noticed already. Well, just because the show is on hiatus doesn't mean that the videos are going to stop. So, just want to let you know. And this is kind of a, even though I'm not going to call it in the title part two, call it like a follow-up to my 50 minute long video video number 1000 um, Melissa, Melissa is alive now given the fact that video was almost an hour long I did not want to include my thoughts on Melissa's pregnancy in the video itself I really only talked about the what if the baby died what if the baby was alive scenario when back in season three after the Amanda Cryer funeral and um, remember how Candace made Melissa go to the Sarandon Hotel with her and Jeffrey with a bunch of pregnancy tests in order to prove she was pregnant. And Jeffrey was kind of, you know, nervous and agitated because, you know, he didn't he couldn't believe what was going on. Uh, remember, outside of the crier house, that's when Melissa revealed the truth about what Veronica did, you know, plan to get her pregnant by Jeffrey and to ensure that he lives the life she wants her to live. And, you know, Jeffrey was still in shock over that. And, you know, Melissa was in there and he was like, should it be taking this long? And then uh, Cam's like, little girl, you better come out of here. And that's when she came out. And to me, I was kind of skeptical about the pregnancy because, again, I'm not an expert on this. I'm kind of like Jeffrey in the sense that, wait, does it take this long? Uh, some people were thinking like myself, what if she sabotaged the test? What, you know, we really didn't know what was going down. I do know that Candace was the one that she went to like, uh, some kind of clinic or whatever and had, and literally had a brown paper bag full of pregnancy tests so it looked like it was indeed accurate but my question is this if she wasn't pregnant how the hell did melissa pull it off i mean i am not going to go on a rant about the whole baby bump thing and how there really wasn't one i do not have the energy in me to go over it i've talked about the lack of a baby bump for so long but i feel like there have been more fans to actually go on and on and on and on about it so i'm not going to be one of those people i just found it hilarious in my opinion the fact that there was no evidence whatsoever that she was pregnant i mean the fact that she was wearing lingerie around Veronica's house and, you know, seducing Benny. And then later when she went over to Hannah's house, that's when she started wearing like these big, you know, oversized T-shirts. Still look very cute, but it's just like now you want to try to prove there's a baby bump. To me, it was like too little, too late. But overall, the pregnancy, remember after she uh, slit her wrist and whatnot and she was in the hospital, um, as soon as the doctor came out to her, uh, Veronica and Jeffrey, and before he can even get the words out of his mouth, of, mouth about Melissa's condition, Veronica's, how's the baby? Is the baby okay? And then it's like, yes, um, the baby's fine and the mother will be okay as well. And I don't think the doctor would lie to Veronica like that. I mean, one might assume that, oh, well, what if Melissa somehow persuaded the doctor to just say, oh, the baby's fine? I don't think that's the case. Not to mention, if Melissa wasn't pregnant, why would she try to abort the baby? What was it? Didn't she use like a wired hanger before? And then aside from that, um, later on after the car wreck and that doctor she was sitting with was like, oh, well, I heard you're pregnant. How long are you? How far are you along? Uh, just about two, two and a half months. I don't care. Should we check on the baby? No, no, no. I don't care. I just want to get the hell out of here. So i think melissa was pregnant and then the fact that they built it up when they were talking with, between melissa and hannah you know just about all the trouble she's been through and what she's going to do in the future i feel like it would be very 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 poor writing if they retconned a pregnancy like you know if it was built up that she was pregnant but then all of a sudden oh melissa was never pregnant to begin with 
I feel like that will be the most, one of the most, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. There have been some retcons and unrealistic things that happen in the show, but I feel like this would be one of the dumbest things to do to say that Melissa was never pregnant, especially the fact that, uh, a lot of people say, well, Jeremy, what about that scene where Melissa, com Melissa confronted Veronica in the hospital, you know, because Veronica was in the hospital after the car wreck and she went off on her and took her bank card and just left. And uh, then after she left, Veronica was like, stupid girl, don't even know when you're being set up. I think that that scene and I don't think it played out the way it was supposed to in my mind in terms of when the doctor came to visit Melissa. I thought that Veronica probably had a recording or something somewhere so she could present the video of Melissa being irrational, angry, deranged and whatnot. She could present that to the court or the doctor to prove that Melissa needed to be institutionalized. I didn't think that had anything to do with Melissa not being pregnant and then Veronica being like, huh, don't even know when you're being set up. I don't think that Veronica would go through such elaborate things and just the way she's acting if the baby wasn't even there. I mean, yes, I believe Veronica would go off the deep end if it turns out Melissa was never pregnant. But due to the fact that, you know, um, she keeps watching Melissa around the clock. Melissa was like, yeah, she comes in the room, checks on me, carries me to the doctor like clockwork. That's how Ver um, Melissa knew exactly when Veronica goes to sleep and stuff like that because she watches Melissa like a hawk. So guys, I'm going to be honest here. Even though there was no baby bump, um, even though there have been conflicting pieces of evidence and scenes and dialogue throughout the series, I will say that I do think Melissa was pregnant. Yeah, there were the theories. What if she got pregnant by Benny? I don't think that's the case. I've already done plenty of videos. So if you haven't done so already, especially if you're newer on the channel, I suggest uh, looking through my playlist, looking through my video archive section of the channel, and even the search bar, just type in like Benny and Melissa. I'm pretty sure I've done videos already about all the questions you may have after watching this video, but I'm going to say that Melissa was pregnant. Now, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, in the next episode, if Melissa is alive, uh, if Melissa isn't, what if, what if it's like Melissa's dead and then Veronica goes to the doctor and it's like, and I lost my grandchild. What grandchild? Melissa was pregnant. No, she wasn't. I will admit that would be pretty funny, but I don't think that would be good writing, especially after all the buildup they've done. So that's just my thought. I think Melissa was pregnant. Now, whether or not she's going to be after the fall, if she's still alive, if she's alive and the baby's dead, I don't know. But let's just say from the moment that Melissa and Jeffrey first had sex to the moment where she fell off the roof, I'm going to say that Melissa was pregnant. That's my assumption so as always let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are there any conflicting pieces of evidence in the series that you want to point out to me that i may or may not have covered in the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and like i said before hit that bell notification icon